So there's this Plaque who's a self-proclaimed soon-to-be diamond player in my Discord server. He's been talking the most, claiming that he's unbeatable. So in today's video, I wanted to put him to the test by having him play against a real diamond player to see if he's all talk or really where he says he should be. Let me know who you guys think will win in the comments and let's get this video to 5k likes for the YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate it and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. All right, map number one with our two players here. Remember that K.ZI is going to be our plat who is a self-proclaimed soon to be diamond player. So we'll see if that holds up as he will be going against an actual diamond player, my good friend Fino who has been diamonds pretty much every single season, if not champ. So we are going to see if K.ZI here is all talk or if he's actually got something to back up what he is saying. So we're going to be starting this off on coastline for our first map and we will go from there. Pretty smart bands coming out from both sides here, trying to get rid of some of these LMGs, trying to get rid of a lot of the gunner operators, a lot of the crutch operators. So I think that is a good strap by both of these players here. All right, so round one is starting here. We have, I'm gonna call him K starting off on the Jackal and Fino is going to be on the Vigil going to the Hookah Bomb site first. All right, so K trying to drown out a little bit, sees where Fino is at, Fino's gonna try to take care of that drone for a second they both know roughly where each other are Fina's gonna know that uh k is pushing over from the aqua balcony and k obviously had just drone fino so it's gonna come down to a gunfight here quick peeks coming out from k can't quite land fino popping off a lot of shots doing a good amount of damage bringing k to about 50 hp two minutes left so k has plenty of time he also has two claymores so he could try to make some work with that Plenty of time. I'm gonna try to drone again. Just baiting that out. You know, just playing safe. He knows all he has to do is wait for that plant. Crack's gonna come out here from K. Hitting the ping through the wall. Couldn't quite hit the shots to the wall. Now he's only one HP. Keeping that jackal scanner on, which is a mistake in my opinion. Fino gonna swing. Nothing gonna come of it from either way. You know, falling down to the cool vibe stairs. Gonna pick up the first kill. That is round one. Going to Fino, our diamond player. So, so far, K, okay, a lot of talk and not much to back it up yet. But I do have to say, he, uh, his movement and aim looks a little bit better than I had expected it to be. So, we'll see if that uh, translates to anything here in this next round. Alright, so it looks like both players are having a little bit of lag right now. Their pings are fine, so I think it's just a custom game server. But regardless, that is a little bit frustrating. Okay, going to be picking up the Finca this round, and Fino is going to hop onto that mute. The lag looks like it's still being a bit of a problem. Hopefully, that fixes itself within this game. All right, we've got K pushing in through Sunrise, just trying to figure out where Fino is. Fino's holding a little bit of a head glitch here on the bomb. Now, the important thing to know here is that since K is playing as Finca, he's going to have two grenades to lob in there and try to kill Fino, which is exactly what he's trying to do right now. Fino hears that, going to try to swing. Couldn't quite hit the shot, and that's going to be an easy nade kill coming out from K. That's the problem in these 1v1s, is you don't have any teammates to bring any sort of secondary utility to help you out. So, if Fino wants to rotate, well, he's going to have to go somewhere with the shotgun, but that means he's going to sacrifice the ADSs. So, that means that the grenades coming out from K are going to be very, very impactful. So, 1v1s being a little bit difficult to play out here, but regardless, it is one to one right now. All right, so we've got a little bit of an interesting castle strat coming out from Fino. Castle is not the first operator I would think to bring in a 1v1. The UMP is not that great of a weapon, and he's going to have to be facing off against an L85, which is one of my favorite guns in the entire game. As you guys would know, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, which I highly recommend you doing, make sure you have notifications on as well as I do post daily here on the channel. But with that being said, the UMP is not the most favorable gun to have, especially against something like the L85, but it simply doesn't matter because Fino heard the beeper that he placed in the hallway, gave away case position, and that's just an easy wall bank for him. That's the kind of game sense that you're going to be running into when you're playing at the higher ranks like Fino is at that diamond champ level. And that's something that K is going to have to get used to. All right, so we currently have both players kind of walking in place. It seems like the lag is really bad, so we might see a disconnect here. Fino is on 29 ping, and he's lagging this hard. So it's not on us. It's going to be on the server. So everybody blame Ubisoft for this one. 
run out coming out from k right now gonna get an easy kill on defino wow so the lag is really bad right now we might try to rehost for a different server as both players were kind of stuck in spawn unable to move but regardless that is going to be k picking up that round so it's down two to two all right so we're on to round number five hopefully fino is able to actually make it out of spawn this time as he was spawn peaked last round it's like k is sitting here attempting to try to get another spawn peak he actually just uh, destroyed his azami that was on that rotate hole so that's unfortunate for him all right so round number five here looks like fino was actually able to leave spawn this time not getting spawn peaked which is something we'd love to see two to two so he really needs to grab this round to lock in that match point this round's gonna be super important as whoever wins it really has some room to uh to move around there he's coming out from fino not quite gonna hit Okay, trying to peek that hole. Fino narrowly missing out on that uh, line of sight right there. Okay, just holding a nice angle on the door. That is zombie being a little bit of a hindrance to Fino. Shots going out. Not quite going to hit. Both players still full HP and a minute and a half left on the round. Interesting angle from Fino right now. Not really sure what he's doing. Okay, he's honestly playing this very smart. He could be swinging everything really aggressively, but as I say that, he does just swings the door, not aiming at anything. Fino in quite the unpredictable position. Going to pick up that round. That is round five going to Fino, who locks in that match point. So this could be the last map or the last round of this map. All right, so it looks like we've got a very similar setup as to the last round from K. Now, the only difference here is that Fino is actually going to be on that Amaro. Now, I'm very interested to see if he's going to try to make a risky play in Amaro straight in through one of the windows. We see him looking straight at the big one right now. He drones out K, sees he's on cams. He's going to try to Amaro straight into there. K not quite able to hit his shots. Both players still at full HP here, but Fino's going to win that out. That is map one going to Fino. Well played by K, though. I'm not going to lie to you. He actually was able to get up two rounds, so... You know, we'll have to see how the rest of the series goes, but uh, not not too bad from K yet, but showing that maybe he doesn't quite deserve to be in Diamond, like he says, at least so far. All right, so we're loading into our second map, which is going to be Border. I wanted to switch it up as I feel like we play on like Clubhouse, Oregon, and like those type of maps way too often. I wanted to switch it up for this video, bring us on to Border, and also to switch it up just a little bit more I had Fino start on attack this time, and K is going to be starting on defense, which is the opposite of what we saw on map one, which was coastline. So this is a uh, this is a map that we really haven't done in any of my videos before, so I'm really interested to see how this goes. By attackers. All right, so we see another interesting castle pick coming out from K this time, actually. So both of these players, I guess, like the UMP. I mean, it's not a bad gun, right? Like, it's it's by no means bad. It's just really not that good, especially when you're going to be up against Fino, who's going to have this uh, Finca LMG. 100 bullets does a lot more damage. I don't know. It's just not the gun that I'd like to face up against something like the Finca LMG. But regardless, we'll see if these castle strats work out for him. Something to keep in mind is that Fino's not going to have much utility to actually counter these castles. So he has two nades in the Gon 6. That means he can at most get three of the castle barricades gone and he'll have really no utility left over and uh k will still have one more castle in his pocket so we'll see uh what exactly fino decides to do oh wallbang's going out easy kill by fino wow i thought this round was going to take a little bit longer than it did just because of the castle barricades but not at all fino droning out the site seeing that he was barricading the door right there easy wallbang all right, so something interesting happening in the all chat here. K said he couldn't sprint out of the way of Fino's fire last round. So Fino asked if he tried holding shift, and apparently K plays with his sprint button on his left mouse button, which is normally what people use to uh, shoot. So now my question is, what, what keybind is he using to shoot? And what keybind are you guys using to sprint? Because I've heard of people using very weird keybinds like this. So let me know in the comments, what key are you using to sprint? And please don't tell me it's your left mouse button. All right, we've got Fino picking up Ash with the R4C. That's a bold decision. Going to be rushing in through supply. And we've got K on the Wamai. Now, 
The unfortunate thing for Kay here is that Fino did not choose to bring any sort of grenade, so that's not really going to play much of a role here. But he has no idea that Fino had Ash charged the wall right next to him. Fino gonna just rush through that wall, get an easy kill. That's the game sense that Kay, I believe, is lacking. And I think that's one of the main problems that you see with plat players is they don't have the game sense to move up in the ranks. Because at plat, you could have someone who has pretty good mechanics. Like, Kay seems to have decent mechanics, but the game sense isn't quite there. Fino had a great bait there. He ash charged the wall. Then he meleeed the door to mask the sound of it. You couldn't quite hear where it was coming from. And Kay was just too busy looking at that door. Fino able to walk in and get an easy pick on a Kay who is not looking at him. So a little bit of a game sense. Um, I don't know. Just lacking game sense. All right. So round number three has commenced here. We've got Fino over by the armory wall. And Kay is actually all the way in fountain right now. So Fino might be able to drone this out as he is right now. See that the site is clear and take this quickly. He is assuming that Fino is going to push over from office as that's where he pushed last time. But that is not the case. Fino is actually pushing the armory side. Now, I believe Fino pushed a little bit too late. Something interesting here. I just noticed Fino is actually running the shotgun, the SGCQB. This gun is absolutely amazing, I must say. But will he get the chance to use it properly as if he realizes that he's a shotgun, he can play further back and pretty much dismantle anything Fino wants to do. I don't think he realizes that just yet. Fino got to push up with a shotgun. Get it one pump him. Easy kill by Fino. The SGCQB just too good. All right, so we have an interesting strategy coming out from Fino here, who's actually decided to punch open the entire armory wall and then place his Aruni gates on top of it. He is definitely doing a little bit of trolling and that uh, he can get away with because it is currently match point for Fino. He is up three to nothing. K is really not in a good spot here. And to be honest, I don't know if Sens is going to be the play. This gun is a lot of recoil and maybe he'll prove me wrong, but I don't know if this is the gun he needs to be taking against Fino right now. Fino going to open up the door, run out, and it's going to be an easy kill for Fino. That's a 4-0. Fino, the diamond player, just completely destroying K. Self-proclaimed, soon to be diamond. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't quite deserve to be diamond. I don't know. Fino, a longtime diamond player, able to completely wipe the floor with K. So, looks like he's still got some work to do. All that talk, all for nothing. GG's to these, these guys, and thank you so much for watching the video.